I don't know, Blaine. Uh, I think it's a little, uh, it's a little big, my dude. Just look at this thing. This pizza box is bigger than the car. Look at it. That thing actually fits a pizza. It's crazy. Hey everybody, Joel Hansen. Today we are here at Big Mama's and Papa's Pizzeria in Los Angeles, California to do their 36 inch team pizza challenge. So for this challenge, me and my good friend Blaine, whom you see in my Vegas videos are here to eat their 36 pound or 36 inch pizza. So it's about a 14 pound pizza. It's quite large. You have one hour to complete it. If you complete it, you get $200 cash prize and the pizza for free, which is pretty cool. And if you don't beat it, I think it's 100 or 150 bucks. So that's a big price tag. We don't want to do that, but uh, pretty cool. They have this crazy car. They, this is the place that has the big 54 by 54 pizza. It's the world's largest pizza. Uh, so yeah, that sounds pretty cool. Let's go on in, eat some food, and uh, eat some pizza. All right, everyone, so here we are. This absolutely massive monstrosity of a pizza. So I think it's like 14 pounds. It's definitely massive, like huge. I just did the belt, things are getting real. We have some pineapple, peppers, ham, and bacon. So it should be good. Lots of grease on this pizza, but uh, we have one hour. Let's go for 200 bucks. I'm gonna start, I think we start on the vegetable side. The pizza's gonna be a little stronger flavor. And that's about it. Yeah, and we gotta be healthy. So, uh, Blaine, what do you say? You ready to go? Let's do this. All right, man, so let's start. Let's say the count of five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Hey, everyone, welcome to today's video where today we are taking on what has been the biggest pizza challenge I have attempted, either by myself or with other individuals. So here we are taking on this over 14 pound massive pizza in 36 inches. This thing's absolutely massive if you cannot tell. Seriously, the diameter on this thing is quite intimidating and it was definitely a little bit bigger than I anticipated, kind of just hearing what it would look like. I'm trying to save our health. <laughs> Your artery is safe. So of course we set out for the win in hopes of getting a cash prize and not having to pay for the pizza. So this was not my uh, first challenge of the day, so things of course I knew were going to be a little slower, they're going to be a little harder, plus it was very late in the evening for myself. I'm normally on Eastern time and this was on, I guess it's Pacific time, whatever time it is in California. Um, so it was about three hours, three or four hours behind my home time, so my flight not my flight, I was all jet lagged and my internal clock, there it is, that's the word, my internal clock was a little messed up. Um, let's just say my sleep schedule this week was a little rocky. Um, not to mention that I had some difficulties actually eating this pizza as my mouth was all cut up from a very painful burger challenge which I did the day before. If you're not familiar, watch that video afterwards. One bite. I have to like really watch it though because I'm just cutting my mouth. I need to like take small bite. So I'm not really sure like the best way to describe this pizza, but generally it was like I'd say relatively thin crust. Um, so definitely like a thinner crust pizza, again, then definitely a large diameter. I actually really liked this kind of style of pizza. I'd almost kind of describe it more like a New York style pizza, um, whereas of course this was actually in Los Angeles, California. But uh, kind of like that, just kind of, I don't know, thinner and I don't like kind of harder bottom, if that makes sense, um, which I generally enjoy when it's not cutting my mouth, that is. The crust is very, very firm. It's definitely cutting my mouth up. But YOLO. But besides cutting up my mouth, no, I was actually enjoying like the overall gist of the pizza. I'm not always one for like big, 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 thick crusts, if that makes sense. Um, so I kind of like this thinner style, um, and I don't mind it having a little bit more diameter. In this case, it was, it was very big, like it had a huge diameter. Um, so we went each, uh, like we each chose a, two toppings, so like a quarter. Um, Blaine did pineapple, ham, I did peppers, and bacon. Um, generally, all those are kind of easier toppings to eat, in my opinion. 
Uh, I chose bacon because I really like bacon. Um, pizza, which only I actually found out on this trip. So it was kind of ironic. Um, but it was only on this trip I was like, I really like bacon on pizza. So of course I had to get some bacon on the pizza. About 10 minutes in, we're over half the pizza, about half. Not too bad. We only got 50 minutes left. I would say you have 40 minutes left. That's, that's where you have to finish. Why do so, uh, Travel starts after 30 minutes. Oh, yeah. okay. there we go. If you are interested in trying this pizza, you definitely have to reserve it in advance. And if I recall, I, oh, I know for a fact, you had to like put a credit card down on file for sure. I don't know if you necessarily had to go in in person to book it, but you definitely have to call ahead with a credit card. Um, you know, again, so I guess they have the ingredients already, but they didn't make the pizza until we showed up or anything. Like we showed up, we signed our paperwork. We told them the toppings we wanted, even though we kind of submitted tentative toppings uh, at the time when we booked the pizza, but there was absolutely no issues with that. The staff were super cool, um, both about us doing the challenge, very supportive of it, um, but also just good conversation. They're cool in general. Seems like a really kind of, um, I don't know how to put it, like it's, it's, a, it's a small chain, like there's multiple locations, but it kind of really seemed like homegrown, if that makes sense. Just kind of like it had that gist of a, small almost mom and pop shop pizza place except again well it wouldn't it is called mom's and papa's but it had that gist although it wasn't just a one location there's a Doritos discount rack of every single we had donuts tampons and cakes like and skittles hidden by the bathroom I didn't know I didn't know like tampons were bad so that was a new learning experience they're just used <laughs> I'll be bad by then. Their return. Oh, this didn't fit. Hang on, my back. <laughs> a lot of people always ask, you know, what we talk about or what we think of during a food challenge. Um, it really depends on the challenge. I mean, sometimes it's just pure, like, you know, encouragement, self-talk, being like, come on, we can do this. Other times, kind of like this, we're just kind of, you know, shooting the blank if you know what I'm saying we're just kind of talking just as kind of whatever comes our way like we're talking about our days we're talking about our experience so far it's been a while since we saw Blaine so really just a great opportunity to kind of catch up over some food yes. we actually have extra topping on this pizza it was extra grease mm -hmm. that everyone I'll let you get to the rest of the video I hope you enjoy it let me know what you think down below and of course let me know if you'd eat this pizza and I'm not going to lie, you need to follow this video to the end because starting right about now, we start getting our butt kicked like crazy. Somewhere about 18, almost 18 minutes in. Hawaiian Punch. Shout out to Hawaiian Punch. Take a sponsorship.
end of that. What? Under 30 minutes? Yeah, under 30. Well, right now. I don't know if we'll finish under 30, but. One eternity later. 34 minutes and 55 seconds in. It's coming along. This is just a lot of pizza. Oh, it's been a long day. It's like midnight where I like, get my local time zone. Excuse me. That was for you. So 35 minutes in. We're almost done. Then we only got a couple slices left. Challenge to say that much. A lot of pizza, but a long day, especially for such a late challenge like being midnight on my local time. So, everybody, thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Two cents of blade for joining me to this challenge. For winning, we get $200 and pizza for free. That's pretty cool. Don't complain, Sarah. Thank you. Thanks to all the staff here. Oh my God, that model is definitely a really cool spot. So, everybody, until next time, say happy, healthy, hungry. Don't do what we do, and happy eating. 41 and a half. 41 and a half, there you go, thank you. You legit. <laughs> there we go, checks. Not cash, but checks. Nothing wrong with that, 100 bucks. So yeah, it works. And the pizza for free, so there you go. Yeah, but yeah really cool staff. The pizza's good overall. Uh, just a lot of it. Again, I mean, hey, if you ever want to try, you can come do their big 54 by 54 inch pizza. In fact, I'm gonna look at the box and show you just how big that thing is. Look how big this pizza box is. It doesn't fit in the frame. Good. You see it? Now you can. How's that for a picture or thumbnail? So yeah, uh, I don't think it's big enough, but there you go. All right, so I have to try something called horchata. I've always, I've always wondered what this kind of was, and it's supposed to be some kind of drink. So here goes horchata. Whoa! -ho -ho. It's like cinnamon, nutmeg. It kind of tastes like Christmas. 
Not bad. It's like, it's kind of like milky, like a rice milk thing. It's really good. Definitely not sugar-free, but horchata would recommend. Not a Canadian thing.